Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. So, if you're watching this video, then that must mean that Articuno is returning to raid battles, and this Ice-type and Flying-type legendary Pokemon is actually pretty good in a variety of different situations. I'm going to tell you what counters you should bring to this raid boss, as well as everything else you need to know in order to defeat it. Alright, so with that said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. Alright, so let's get right into it. So, Articuno is a flying and ice type Pokemon, which means it's going to have a variety of different weaknesses. It is weak against rock types, electric types, fire types, and steel types. In fact, it is actually double weak to rock types, and that is actually pretty key. Regarding what counters you should bring, you should obviously go with rock types. That is going to be the strongest against this Pokemon, and there's quite a variety of really good rock types that you could bring. First, let's go over the absolute best, and that is of course going to be Mega Aerodactyl. This is the most powerful Rock-type Pokemon currently available in the game, at least until Mega Tyranitar gets released. Bring a Mega Aerodactyl with Rock-type moves so that you could boost up not only your own damage, but the Rock-types that other players will bring. If you happen to have a Shadow Tyranitar with Rock-type moves, that is another Pokemon that you should consider bringing. And then of course, there is Rampardos, which has an insanely high amount of DPS when it comes comes to rock types, but of course it is a bit of a glass cannon so you will want to be careful. There is also Terrakion which is a really good rock type Pokemon. That is something you should not ignore when going up against Articuno. And then of course regular Tyranitars and Rhyperiors are going to be really good here. Now speaking on budget counters, it's pretty much going to be the same list, minus of course Terrakion being a legendary. Tyranitars with Smackdown and Stone Edge, Rampardos with rock type moves, and Rhyperior with rock type moves are all all going to be really good against Articuno. Now considering that most of these have community day moves, you may not necessarily have them if you are a newer player. You could also bring Omanyte with rock type moves. That is another Pokemon that you should not sleep on. And then of course, Gigalith is another really good Pokemon. Now of course, you could also bring electric types, fire types, and steel types to this raid boss, but I highly suggest against it because rock types are just going to be that much more superior. And considering that there's a lot more rock types that are available compared to the other types, you're just going to be better off just bringing a whole bunch of rock types. Even in a situation where all three legendary birds are in raid battles at the same time, you're still going to benefit from having a full team of rock types because all three of the legendary birds are weak against rock types. Articuno is weather boosted by two kinds of weather boosts, and that is of course going to be windy weather and snowy weather. If you're looking for a perfect IV of Articuno, you will want to catch one that is 1743, and if it's weather boosted, it is going to be 2179. Those are the magic numbers for the 100% IV Articuno, so do keep those numbers in mind whenever you're raiding this boss. Articuno is not necessarily a very top tier Pokemon when it comes to raid damage as an ice type, and that is of course because there are better ice types out there. But in terms of PvP, it can be used to shake up the meta, especially in specialty cups where it qualifies. It's not necessarily going to be that good for the Ultra League or the Master League, but at least for the Great League, you might as well pick up a few of these and trade them with your friends in hopes of getting those IVs that are really ideal for PvP. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there's not many other situations where Articuno will be good, but if you're lacking in ice types and flying types, then this Pokemon might actually be useful. But considering that out of all three of the legendary birds, Articuno is considered the weakest one, that is something you should consider when it comes to offensive prowess. But even though it's not top tier, it's still pretty good in a lot of different circumstances where ice types will be needed. And that is of course because Articuno is still a pretty hard hitting Pokemon for what it's worth and there's not a lot of phenomenal ice types that are readily available. So having a bunch of these as a backup is still a good idea, especially because when it comes to dragon types, there are going to be bosses that are going to be double weak against ice. And of course, you do not want to neglect the fact that Articuno does have a shadow version out there. Of course, if you were able to beat Giovanni during the time that Shadow Articuno was the Pokemon that you can get, then it is definitely worth farming up for getting the resources to match 
maxing out that shadow Pokemon, because in that circumstance it will be a top tier raid attacker, and that is something you should not ignore. But of course, it won't reach that full potential unless you max it out with XL candies. And of course, whenever Articuno is out, you will be able to get guaranteed XL candies whenever you defeat it and catch it. So that is something you should keep in mind as well. It is also one of the easier legendary raid bosses, so this is a Pokemon that you could farm up for rare candies and rare candy XL. If you are looking to defeat this boss with the least number of trainers as possible, you will want to go with at least one other trainer and make sure both of you are using using rock types and you are at least best friends. Getting a weather boost in your advantage is of course going to be partly cloudy because that's going to boost up your rock type attacks. Now if you want to comfortably defeat this boss, you will want to have a raid group that has at least 4 trainers that are at least level 35. That'll be the condition that will make this boss extremely easy to defeat. So yeah, if you're out remote raiding or if you're out raiding in person, make sure you have at least 3 other people that you can play with that'll almost guarantee that you will defeat this boss. One final note that I want to close this video on is of course the fact that Articuno does have a shiny form that is readily available. The shiny rate from legendary raid bosses is of course 1 in 25, and considering that Articuno does not often make an appearance in raid battles, getting this shiny is actually a pretty good collector's item. It is also one of those that shiny hunters are always looking for, so if you are looking for a really good trade chip, then shiny Articuno is definitely something you should farm up. There's always players out there who are requesting shiny Articuno. I don't necessarily know why, considering that this Pokemon is not as strong as other ice types, but maybe it's because of the collection value of it. So for that reason, I tend to farm up this boss as often as I can whenever it is in raid battles. The shiny form is a pretty cool looking shiny, and of course, the candy XLs are always going to be extremely valuable for any raid boss. And yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this raid guide. Let me know your thoughts regarding Articuno down below. Do you have yourself a really good Articuno? Do you have yourself its shiny form? Definitely share your thoughts down below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video and found it to be helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. You can check out the links in the description below. For all of my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way within Pokemon Go, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. All right, and that's it. I'm Kanjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.